Hello, let's go through the sheet together. So if we have a look at B, we can see that the base of this rectangular prism is a square. The area of a square is side squared. The volume of a rectangular prism is the area of the base multiplied by the height. Next, we substitute 15 centimetres squared multiplied by 25 centimetres. 15 times 15 is 225 and they become squares because that's what we measure area in multiplied by 25 centimetres. The volume of this rectangular prism is 5,625 cubic centimetres because we measure volume in cubes. The next one only has one dimension. That means that this is a cube. The length, the width and the height are all the same dimension. Therefore, we can say volume of a cube is side cubed. The side is 6 centimetres. We could square that to find the area of the base. Multiplied by 6 centimetres, which is the height. 6 squared is 36 square centimetres because we're measuring the area of the base multiplied by 6 centimetres, the height. 36 times 36 is 200, 36 times 6 I mean, is 216 cubic centimetres because we measure volume in cubes. Let's have a look at D. The area of the base multiplied by the height is the volume of a rectangular prism. The base is a rectangle. So, the area of a rectangle is length times width. Then we multiply by the height to find the volume of this 3D shape. The length is 18 centimetres multiplied by the width 2 centimetres multiplied by the height 12 centimetres 18 multiplied by 2 is 36 centimetres squared we say squares because it's the area and we measure area in squares multiplied by 12 36 multiplied by 12 is 432 and because it's volume we're measuring in cubes. Next we have a rectangular prism. Volume equals area of the base multiplied by the height. The base is a rectangle so it's going to be length times width is the area of the base multiplied by height. The length is 40 centimeters. The width is 30 centimetres, multiplied by the height, which is 10 centimetres. 40 times 30, or 4 times 3, is 12, with two zeros on the end, because it's tens multiplied by tens equals hundreds. Squared centimetres, because we're measuring the area multiplied by 10 centimetres. Hundreds multiplied by tens is thousands. So we can put the three zeros on the end straight away. 1 multiplied by 12 is 12. So the answer is 12,000 cubes.
cubic centimetres because we measure volume in cubes. If we have a look at this one, we have a square, but it's on the side. But that can still be the base. The base does not have to be the bottom. So if we had a square as the base, it is side squared multiplied by height to find the volume. Substitute would be 3 squared centimetres multiplied by the height which is 12 centimetres. 3 squared is 9 and this time it's square centimetres because we're measuring the area of the base multiplied by 12 centimetres which is the height. 9 multiplied by 12 is 108 and we're talking about cubes, cubic centimetres, 108 cubic centimetres. G. We have a rectangular prism with a square base. The volume of a rectangular prism is area of the base multiplied by the height. So the base is a square. So the area of a square is side squared multiplied by height to find the volume. Substitute 9 square centimetres multiplied by 25 centimetres. 9 squared is 81 square centimetres because we're measuring the area and we measure area in squares multiplied by the height. 81 multiplied by 25 is 2025 cubes which is cubic centimetres in this case. Next one. Area of the base multiplied by the height. The base is a rectangle. So area of a rectangle is length times width multiplied by the height. Substitute. The length is 22 centimetres. The width is 16 centimetres. And the height is 5 centimetres. 22 times 16 is 352 square centimetres because we measure area in squares multiplied by the height is 1760 cubic centimetres because we measure volume in cubes. And finally, volume equals area of the base multiplied by the height. The base is a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is length times width multiplied by the height to find the volume. The length is 8 centimetres. The width is 7 centimetres. And the height is 9 centimetres. That's called substitution. 8 times 7 is 56 squared centimetres because we measure area in squares multiplied by the height. 56 multiplied by 9 is 504 cubic centimetres because we measure volume in cubes.